This is BTG here, and I'm with Cities. Oh, this way, this way. No, wrong side again. Let's go. That way. And we're doing our first ever pod podcast. Podcast, I guess. It's I podcast. guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess already it's a terrible. podcast. It's a podcast, I guess, you know. It's yeah. only a guest podcast. Um, all right, I already forgot what we were supposed to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, so it's Lonnie Combine versus it. Matthews. Uh, it's two rookies doing real well, and well, the one's doing real well now. The one was doing real well earlier. Yeah. Yeah. The one kind of slowed down. Lonnie kind of just got worse and worse, and then Matthews is getting better and better. Now he's doing really well, and I'm happy. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, really, it's looking like Matthews is about to overtake him. Unless Line A steps up his game, and Matthew steps down yeah. his game. Oh, well, we'll see. Who's got more points? Is it's it, like uh, legitimate, absolute tie right now. Okay, here we go. Let me see this. Okay, they both Patrick Line A's points. got 20 goals, 14 assists for a total of 34 points. <laughs> Matthews has 20 goals and 14 20 assists. 20 goals, 14 <laughs> assists for a total of 34 points. <laughs> there's, there's no difference. There's no difference. We are still waiting to see which player is ultimately better. Yeah, so. but I mean, the one actually plays defense, so there we go. Yeah. Um, well, hey, he put one in his own net. That's pretty good. Like, you gotta yeah, be pretty you, good you to put be one in your Pretty net. damn good to be just firing that puck in your own net. I honestly don't know how you even do that. He, like, looked up at the net and just fired it. Like, wow, what a shot. He's so used to. He's so used to just sniping it. He just he surprised the goalie he so it. much. I mean, it's like the yeah. goalie was so surprised for that shot. He just didn't even move. He just watched the puck fly right by him. Then uh, the captain came by and uh, told him it was okay when he got on the bench. And uh, so the next thing on the list is uh, <laughs> the, the Col Columbus win Jack streak. Ah! Yeah, Columbus, <laughs> everyone's Yay. favorite. You're doing pretty damn good. Yeah, uh, you got the best coach in the world, Tortorella, who was fired from Vancouver. I don't know why they did it. It was honestly so dumb. Uh, Vancouver is just a bunch of hooligans over there. And anyone who lives there has got to be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, on a serious note, uh, Andrew has stage four lung cancer. He will not be returning for the second podcast. Uh, but yeah, um, let's see where uh, Columbus is obviously first in the Metropolitan Division. Wow, really? I didn't guess. I couldn't have uh, guessed. It's obvious. That's why I say obviously. <laughs> and uh, they're 27-5-4. That's pretty good. That's uh, well over 500. And to my calculations, if they win tomorrow, they, they tie the record. Which is kind of unbelievable considering it's Columbus. That's autism right there. But yeah, um, Columbus is on a 15, or no, 16 game win streak. And um, I hope they lose tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, Columbus fans. <laughs> yeah, I hope they win because it's underdogs. <coughs> and like, I'm an underdog, yeah. so, you know, go under. You're going to have to <laughs> Alright, so um, what our else? next. Uh, Next this thing is the World Junior World um, Juniors. Oh. Uh, semifinals, I guess. Yeah, I, Russia's going to win. Russia's going to like destroy the US in a shootout. And then uh, Canada is going to get their rear ends kicked by Sweden. And then Sweden's going to get demolished by Russia. 10 to nothing. I'm calling it right now. Um, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to predict a 4-3 win in overtime for Canada. I'm going to say that right now. Canada's not going to win. Like, this team is so bad. Like, it's bad. Not to okay, well, actually, I'm, I'm, okay, what do you, what do you predict that's going to happen in that uh, Sweden game? Canada. I'm saying Sweden's going to take a 6-3. Fuck, that's not good. That's not a very good score, man. Yeah, I know. We're Canada. For us, we but... are hockey. We are yeah, literally hockey. Sweden is better than us. That's the thing. This year... I mean, not in, like, upper levels, but the World Juniors, we always seem to suck dick. I'm just going to say that right now. Last year, we finished sixth. Like, it's I'm true. Sure but... that. Like, the World Juniors is our, like, downfall. <sighs> it's tough, man. Yeah, uh, what, what do you predict is going to happen in the finals? 
against Sweden um, against the U.S. or Canada against U.S. Okay, That's well, you're picking well, them. we'll go through both. Uh, both. Um, I guess what could happen if a uh, Canada rivalry versus U.S. would happen? Uh, I think uh, Canada would win. I if think, we beat Sweden, I think if we beat Sweden, we'll beat the U.S. That's what yeah, I'm I think that's. But if we lose to Sweden, I think Sweden's gonna take the U.S. Yeah. Five. All right, I'm gonna say it's gonna be closer, and it's gonna be three two. Okay. And then those if, are our predictions. And then in, in the bronze medal game, I'm saying Canada, Canada would beat four. Russia. Um, I'm gonna say <clears throat> six two. Can't. No, I'm kidding. So uh, no. Four one. I'm gonna say um, three one Canada in the in the bronze medal game if right. if we lose against Sweden. Yeah, and if Sweden lose against us, I think they're gonna kill the Russians. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say six six one. Yeah, six one six two. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess that that was predictions for the World Juniors. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Um, P.K. Subban is the um, Central Division Captain. Connor okay. McDavid is the Specific Division Captain. Uh, then Sidney Crosby is the Metropolitan Division Captain. And Carey Price is the Atlantic Division Captain. What what I want to see, which is not going to happen because I don't get my way all the time <laughs> and I don't troll the NHL, but uh, I would like to see uh, P.K. Subban and uh, Shea Weber as captains. I would like that to see like a fake good. fight between Subban and Weber. That'd be awesome. And then it turns into a real fight. <laughs> I think um, Carey Price is not a captain. He's like not elite enough to be a captain. Yeah, but I don't think it has anything to do with leadership during the. No, I think during... the leadership really shows during the All Star Game. I mean. Oh, it's... really? Yeah, the... <laughs> he's got to be really like solid in net for them. Um, and he's got to be solid as a leader in the dressing room. So that's a real important in these types of scenarios. You know, pros against pros, you got to just be the best leader possible. And I don't think Carey Price has that right now uh, in his um, stomach to do that. Yeah, he's a shit goaltender. <laughs> yeah, fuck Carey Price. Now, uh, <laughs> moving on, uh, we're looking at the standings here. So, uh, for the playoff hunt... Um, uh, the Leafs are now gaining on the Boston Bruins. They have three games in hand and two points behind, meaning that they're probably going to win that spot over if we simulated to the end of the year in EA Sports NHL 17. Check out my other channel, by the way, because I'm a fucking view whore. Um, now, uh, yeah, and Tampa Bay's also down there. Uh, only two points behind Boston with only a game in hand, though. Uh, Philadelphia is holding the wild card spot currently with 45 points, which is three ahead of the Leafs, uh, who have two games at hand. Now, uh, moving on to the Western Conference, we have Dallas and Nashville and Vancouver and Winnipeg directly behind Calgary and Los Angeles for the wild cards. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not going to say how many games each team. Well, I guess I will now. Uh, Nashville has two games in hand. Dallas has one game in hand. Vancouver has no games in hand. And Winnipeg, uh, Calgary has one game in hand on Winnipeg. So, yeah, that's how that's how things are rolling right now. Uh, and I think we can both agree that Edmonton's going to drop down. Yeah, I was going to share my thoughts on that. Yeah, in, uh, all right, all right. Yeah, right now. You go, you go, man. So uh, being being uh, a Pacific Division uh, like uh, know it all, um, San Jose's uh, I think they're gonna hold on to that uh, first spot for the rest of the season. Um, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, yeah, but I think uh, San Jose will hold on to that um, first spot. Uh, I can see Anaheim holding on to that second spot. I see Edmonton dropping to about. Uh, last yeah I don't see Edmonton holding on to a playoff spot I think it just goes downhill from here and uh, especially if McDavid gets hurt then the season's over so but they're not the Oilers they're the McDavid's they're the Edm Edmonton McDavid's really but um, yeah LA in a wild card and Calgary uh, I think I don't think Calgary's gonna hold that wild card spot uh, I think LA can hold on to their wild card, but I think Calgary is uh, just—they got lucky a few games. 
He won a couple games, got him in a wild card. But uh, I see Nashville, Dallas, uh, Vancouver, Winnipeg. Anybody's whoever gets hot at the end of the season really can uh, take that wild card spot. Right. So on the trade block, uh, well, not I guess this is trade rumors. Uh, Duchesne and Lang Landis Cog are not on the block, but apparently a few people have been throwing around some names. Uh, I don't know who. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but they they aren't on the block officially, but. Uh, maybe they'd be considered giving up. Uh, also, Aginla is considering a trade to a playoff team. Uh, he hasn't said anyone who yet, but uh, he'd appreciate that, I'm sure, uh, being at, down at the bottom of the league for so long. Also, Martin Hansel, uh, he is on the trade block, but no offers have been, uh, really, no serious offers have really been received by the Arizona Coyotes. Scoring race. Uh... Crosby, I guess, leads the uh, leads the scoring race. No sure. It's the goal scoring race. Um, Sidney Crosby is up by five. Jeff Carter's in second. Line A's in third. Matthews is also in third. And then Pasternak is Pasternak is in fifth. Is in fifth. Those are the top five there. Yeah. Uh, in in point totals, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Malkin has got forty three. Yeah. Also, Connor McDavid also has forty three. Okay. Crosby has the third spot with uh, 42 and Tarasenko has 41 points and uh, fifth is Artemi Panarin uh, playing better than uh, Patrick Kane the person who basically brought him up brought him on his line and uh, yeah, taught him like, how to play hard dick Panarin is man and now right like go back to your country kid <laughs> yeah man you gotta be respectful of your elders alright that's a scoring race yay uh, yeah that was fun yes <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna share our freaking three stars. Uh, this was really fucking hard. You better subscribe for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is worth a subscription here. Yeah. All right. The third person on our list was very hard to find because we don't know anything. Uh, we're giving the third star to Anthony Mantha for three goals and one assist over the course of two games. Uh, second star. Sergei Bobrovsky carrying his team to uh, 16 wins in a row yep. without a loss. Okay, who cares? I you know. go ahead and name your favorite person Yay. in the world. Um, so this is exciting for me. <laughs> nah, nah, fucking okay. Uh, but uh, the first star is Austin Matthews scoring four goals and four assists over the course of the week. And uh, that's how this is going to end here on this terrible, terrible live stream. Or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for uh, watching this terrible podcast. If Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.